I was with my little brother in Walmart, and we were in the clothes aisle looking for shirts for my dad's birthday. I'm currently 17, and so it was my little brother, who is four, and myself shopping. He was hiding in those circle racks that just have enough space for a kid to fit between them. He would hide in them for a little bit, then I would crawl under and grab his feet and spook him, and he would laugh endlessly until he hid again. This time I couldn't find him for a while, so I started to get worried. I called out, Marco, because this is how we found each other in stores. He would respond, Polo, and I would immediately find him. Except this time, a gruff man's voice responds, Polo, and I could hear my little brother whimpering. I bolted in the direction of the man's voice and came across another one of the circle racks, but it was extending a little bit, as if a bunch of jerks had been stuffed in there. I pulled the shirts off the rack and saw this man sitting cross-legged on the bars across the bottom, with my little brother in his lap. The man's hands were over my brother's mouth. The man looked to be maybe in his late forties and was very unkept. His clothing worn, and the worst part was that he had his pants down, but thankfully not his underwear. My little brother was crying, and at first I had no idea what to do. Then I realised by some random stroke of luck there was an umbrella thing nearby, so I leaned over and grabbed one and smacked the man with it screaming at him to let my brother go. Some Walmart employees came over and held the man down whilst I grabbed my brother, and they later called the cops. It turns out, the man lured my brother by asking him if he'd like to join the man in a game of hide and seek. He was arrested, but if I ever see him near my brother again, I will kick his ass. If by some miracle he sees this, let's not meet again, for your sake. So a few weeks ago, I was in Walmart with my grandmother. We were walking around and shopping, and it was your ordinary Saturday morning errand run. Whilst we were walking around, I had begun to notice an older man in a few of the same aisles as my grandmother and I. He was in his mid-thirties, early forties, kind of scruffy looking and wearing standard office attire. I thought nothing of it, since it's Walmart and it's not that big of a store. At one point, my grandmother asked me if I need any new bras. For those of you who don't know, Walmart sells $3.98 bras and they're awesome. I told her that I did, so we went to the ladies' underwear section of the store. My grandma went to look at bras, and I went to go see if they had any matching underwear sets. Which is when I noticed the man again. I walked down to the sock aisle, and I didn't see him. So I slowly made my way back to where the thongs and stuff were. I was minding my own business, when I heard someone walk behind me. I figured it was my grandmother, so I partially turned and asked how many pairs I could get, but she was not behind me. I looked around and saw the guy at the end of the aisle. Whatever, I thought to myself. Maybe he's getting it for his wife or girlfriend, and I went back to my own little world, looking for new underwear. I looked for another minute or so, when I felt a presence behind me. I looked to my left and saw a little bit of my grandma. She was just hidden by a rack, and I could see her looking at nightgowns. I decided to stare straight ahead, since maybe someone taller than me was just looking at the underwear that was right over my head, as I'm only five foot one. I felt someone kind of press against me, and that's when I heard the breathing. It was heavy breathing, like someone had just had sex or something and was calming down. 
I turned on my heels to see this guy who had been following me with his hand down his trousers, obviously fondling himself. I screamed, Nanny! And the guy sprinted away. I told the Walmart security and they told me they had no authority to do anything. That seriously annoyed me. And I just can't get the sound of that guy breathing out of my head. <sighs> Truly disgusting. Thanks, Walmart. I live in a very populated city and in approximately a five mile radius of my house, there is at least three major grocery stores. One of which is Walmart. Being a 16 year old girl, I visit Walmart regularly. If I need notebooks or something for school, or if I want to browse makeup and things like that. I've never been uncomfortable going shopping by myself and I actually enjoy it. I've never had any bad experiences on my own until one day a few months ago. On this particular Sunday, my parents were working and my little brother was at a baseball game. I needed body wash and a new lanyard for school. Anyway, I got to Walmart and parked up just as I had a hundred times before. I went in and went straight to the purse section, where the lanyards were. I walked down the aisle, and there was a man looking at wallets hanging on the display. I didn't think much of him, he was probably in his mid-fifties, average height and weight, wearing jeans and a brown t-shirt. He just looked like some old grandpa. Hi there, he said with a big grin. Hi, I said, and grinned back. How are you today? He said. I'm good. How are you? I said this while still browsing for lanyards. Great. I'm just doing some shopping today. Another big smile. I thought it was weird that he explained that he was shopping, since I could clearly see him looking at the wallets on the rack, and I could have assumed that he was shopping. I decided it was nothing, and moved on. I found what I needed and made my way over to the body wash. I was in no rush to be anywhere, so I was leisurely, walking up and down the aisle smelling everything and anything that sounded interesting. When he walked by the aisle I was in, he smiled again. At this point I was a little uneasy. I've always been taught to trust my gut instinct, and something just didn't feel right to me. I had never had a conversation with anyone in this Walmart before, and now it seemed like that man was following me. I texted a friend of mine to tell her what I thought, that I was being followed, and where I was just as a precautionary measure. I decided that maybe it was a coincidence. I mean, he could have needed soap as well, and continued on my shopping. I went a few hours up to face wash, and then, when I had what I needed, I walked around the corner where I ran into him for a third time. Excuse me, young lady. Can I tell you something? He said. Um, yeah? I said with a very quivery smile. You are very beautiful. Oh, thank you? I was very uncomfortable at this point. Are you married? Mind yourself that I'm only 16 and definitely do not look old enough to be married. No, I said. Me either, he said with a grin and turned my heart to ice and made my stomach churn. Do you have a boyfriend? Uh, yeah, I stammered as I forced a smile and tried to hide my face in fear. I didn't have a boyfriend at the time. He began to speak again when a man, probably 17 or 18, standing in the aisle, perpendicular to us, walked over and said, Yeah, she does. She's with me. He gave me the biggest smile and stood super close to me as if he were my boyfriend. Oh, I figured, said the man. He seemed very uncomfortable at the presence of another male. 
Good luck to you too. And with that he walked away. I turned towards the man and thanked him for coming to my rescue. He said he could tell by the tone of my voice and the look in my face that something was up and was hoping I would play along with him. He watched me to the checkout and made sure that the man didn't follow me out of the store. I was very cautious before turning onto my street since I lived so close to the store. That was the last I saw of either of them. I have no idea what the old man's intentions were, but sometimes you just know in your gut that something is wrong. And that day I knew something about him was terrifyingly sinister. I'm so grateful for the guy who helped me out, but to the old man who was following me in Walmart, let's not meet again. This story happened to me when I was around the age of 10 or 11. At the time, my family and I lived in a small town in southern New Mexico. The nearest Walmart was around a half an hour drive away in Roswell. Yes, the town where the aliens crashed. Every weekend we would take a shopping trip into Roswell. When we arrived at the Walmart, which by the way, was decorated with aliens and flying saucers all the time, my dad and I would both go pee. I was using the urinal when an older man in his late 50s or early 60s walks in and uses the one next to me. Then, without warning, the older guy just leans over and looks right over the partition and not even trying to be subtle. He just starts looking at my prepubescent penis. Luckily, my dad had been washing his hands when that was happening. He shouts at the guy, Hey buddy, just what the hell do you think you're doing? Uh, I was... Without being able to get another word out, he turns and rushes out of the bathroom, not bothering to wash his hands nor flush the toilet. My dad was fuming and immediately went to the manager and told him that some old pervert was oogling his kid in the bathroom. The manager, completely unfazed, told my father that it isn't the first time that the guy had done something like that, that the old perv was on a list of people Walmart kept an eye on when they entered the store and that he was also a registered sex offender. So creepy Walmart bathroom sex offender? Let's not meet again. About two weeks ago, my mother and I had to go to Walmart to get her medication. She gets home late from work, so we get over to Walmart around 7pm. The parking lot is horribly underlit as is the entrance to the store. As we're walking towards the entrance, a man walks towards me and pauses as if he were going to start a conversation with me. He's wearing a cap, cargo shorts and sneakers. I really can't make out any details of his face, but I'm fairly sure that I don't know him. My mother and I walk in and go to the pharmacy counter which is right in front of the store. I can clearly see the guy. He looks to be in his late twenties, early thirties. He's very dirty and his eyes are very sunken in. He keeps staring at me and walking around where we are. As my mother is talking to the pharmacist, I notice another man start walking with the first. This man is a heavy set with dark hair and glasses and he's far dirtier than the other man. The pharmacist needs a few more minutes to fill in the last script and so we sit and wait. I tell my mum about the men and she tells me to stay near her. The guy in the cap is mumbling loudly to himself and keeps pacing behind me. I ask my mum for the truck key so I can go wait outside for her. She says that being a little 17 year old girl in a dark parking lot is a bad idea, even without two people following her. She sees that I'm getting very uncomfortable and I'm on the verge of tears. So she gets up and talks to them. I'm her only child. So of course, she is very protective of me. She walks over to the men and talks to them for about two minutes. They're far enough away that I can't hear what she's saying. But I can see how uncomfortable the men look as my mom walks back to me. The men then leave the store. 
I asked her what she said and she just replied that she took care of it. This happened to me 14 years ago. I was 19 and had just moved into my first real house with roommates that I had picked. We decided to go to Walmart to pick up some supplies for the house. Six of us decided to go. It was myself plus four female roommates and one roommate's boyfriend who we were called Daniel. We get there and start shopping in a perfectly normal fashion. I mean we're being loud and obnoxious young adults, but that shit is normal. Now, for the story's sake, I need to let you know that I am a talker. I talk to everyone. I compliment strangers, say hello if we make eye contact to us walking, that sort of thing. And that was my mistake this evening. We're in the second aisle and we pass this dude. He's probably our age, but one can never tell. As I glance up, we make eye contact. So I feel obligated to say hi. And then we go about our merry way. Only he went around our merry way as well. We're in the store for a solid 45 minutes. We haven't gotten halfway through and he crosses our path again. He walks up to me with his head down. His chin is almost at his chest and he sticks out his hand and says, Hey, and then rushes away. It's his phone number. Oh man, that's super sweet. I feel bad having no intention of calling him. But it was a sweet gesture. Maybe. It has now been the better part of two hours. Going down every aisle. Discussing as adults what we do or do not need. And we cross paths with him again. He stops in the middle of the aisle and just stares us down as we pass. I'm a little weirded out. And so is Daniel. He grabs my hand and starts acting like he's my boyfriend. The guy proceeds to follow us throughout the remainder of our journey. We get to the checkout and there are five girls, each with a cart full. And we see him four lanes away, checking out with a soda. Daniel is getting uneasy and pissed off. So he grabs my waist and loudly shouts, Let's go, babe. And then we all walk out. He walks out with us and we get to my car. And this guy goes to his car and just sits there staring at us. Daniel is now standing near the back of the car with a rubber mallet, just smacking it in his hand like he's some kind of mobster or something, thinking that this would maybe make the guy leave, but it did not. We finish loading everything in the car and pile it all in to head out. I turn my vehicle on and the dude's vehicle starts as well. We pull out and head home. But then Daniel says, don't go home. Drive to the police station or a firehouse or something. That guy has been tailing us since we left Walmart. All five of the 19 year old girls in the car start to freak out. This dude stayed with us until we turned into a fire station, which at that point he kept going. We sat in the parking lot for a good 20 to 30 minutes looking to see if he was going to drive back. He doesn't and we head home. This event is why I have not been to Walmart in 14 years, but I can't help it. I really like people, but weird, creepy Walmart guy, let's not meet again. Hey guys, it's Mort here and thank you so much for listening. We're so close to that 5k guys. So the next video you'll see will be the competition, so keep your eyes peeled. If you enjoyed the video, please smash that like button as it really helps me out. Remember you can also email me your creepy experience or submit it to darknessprevails.org. Both can be found in the description below, but just remember to give me your consent. You know, there aren't any Walmarts in the UK, so I'd love to hear what you guys actually think of Walmart. Lastly. Don't forget to subscribe because you won't want to miss what's next. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter for updates and other stuff.
But anyway, for now guys, I'm going to sign off. Stay awesome, and I'll see you at 5k.